here in port, sir. She's in the dressing room. Come in. Grazie. Oh, my little Conchita, I have for you the big surprise. Close your eyes and open your hand. Oh. For my little sunburn, the engagement ring. Now, pretty soon, we will be married, no? Oh, the ring. She is beautiful, my dear. But about this marriage? Oh, you're hesitating. There is someone else, eh? Of course not, Martino. You are the only one. That is good, because I'm very jealous. And if I ever see you with another man, I will kill him. Do not fret, my sweet. There is no one else. Now, run along. I must get dressed. My sweetheart. Ferdinand, you must go. You must never see me again. If he catches you with me, he will kill you. I am not afraid of him. I am Ferdinand the bullfighter. Oh, but if anything should happen to you, I would die. I love you too much. That is why you must go. You know, Francita, I was just thinking. If Martino catch you with someone you do not love, or oh, anybody, you are making a fuss over this stranger. You would kill him, no? Yeah. Martino kills someone. The law kill Martino. Está bueno. And that will leave you free to marry with me. Hmm? Shove off. Boy, you sure in a hurry this time. Sorry, sir. We're so used to leaving port in a hurry, we thought somebody was after you. Your hat, sir. Oh, sir.
Sir, you're all wet. Your hat, sir. What the Americano call uh, screwing, no? And Google, too. No, no. Yes, yeah, wait. Don't go away. I'm not only cuckoo, I'm screwy about you. Would you care to dance with me? Would I? Don't you? Pop out a little dinner and it's shut. Debajo de mi ventana pasan las noches romando un charrito muy valiente que me está amenazando. Thank you. 
boss, as long as you're having fun. Give me a hand. I cannot take my siesta. Spanish town was on a night like this. Stars were peekabooing down was on a night like this. I whispered, be true to me. And she smiled, see, see. Many skies have turned to gray because we're far apart. Many moons have passed away and still she's in my heart. We made a promise and sealed it with a kiss. Spanish town was on a night like this. you liked it here. What's the hurry, boss? Look! In a little Spanish town was on a night like this. something you wish to say to me? Yes. You know, I like you. You do? Have you seen a little gringo? Oh, Martino. I will kill him. Go away. Where did he go? That little Americano Russian runt. I have not seen him. I will find him. Oh, 
I'm afraid for you. That's darn nice of you. I saw you. You have protect him. Oh, no. Oh! We will fight the duel at the edge of the forest at daybreak. I come from the north, you come from the south. And come shooting because I am going to kill you. Please, my little friend, get on your boat and leave. He is the best pistol shot in this whole country. Oh, my little Pomplinus. Go away, we want to be alone. Don't worry. She will be alone very soon. Oh. Martino, the police. I cannot kill you here. I will fight a duel. Duel? I meet you at daybreak, edge of the forest. I come from the north, you come from the south. And come shooting as I'm going to kill you. You come from the east. Fanny Laguerre. Mind if I sit down? Uh, sit right down. Glad to make you welcome, stranger. Zeb Montague is my name. Cobb. Homer Cobb's mine. That name sounds mighty familiar. Well, we were mighty famous during the war. Uh, tell me about it. Why, it all happened back in old Kentucky. Oh, the sun shines bright on oh, my old yeah. Kentucky What's going on, We're in it. We're in it. Kentucky's in the war. Have you all heard the news? Have you heard the news? Yes, and we're going to join right now. So long, Pappy. Come along, Pud. I'm a joining too, Lula Bell. When I come back, will you marry me? Come along, Homer. Now, uh, coming. So long, Pa. Gee, Homer, isn't it wonderful? I know when you come back, you'll be at least a colonel. Oh, I'll be bigger than that. I'll be a corporal. Something wrong here. You all don't match. Comedy Hall. First platoon surround the house. Front squad, follow me. Hardy. Who's that man? Uh, 
He's my brother. He's my prisoner, sir. Good. Lock him up. Lock him up? Come on, take him away. Where'll I put him? Uh, in the smokehouse. Get going. Numbskull. Oh, thank you. Lock him up and guard the prisoner. Yes, sir. You better beat it. You think it's safe? Well, yes and no. They've all left. Yeah, well, come on, let's take a look. I think everything's gonna be all right. Uh -oh. Who's that man? He's my prisoner. I surrounded him. I better lock him up in here. Good. And don't let him escape. you a Confederate uniform. You ought to be on my side anyhow. Uh-huh. He's about your size. Keep watch. See, if anybody comes, I'll hide you. All right, all right. Hurry. Make sure nobody's coming home. Well, I like getting in this uniform. Ain't gonna take me but a minute. That Yankee is here. Look around here. I want that man. See, he's behind that tree stump. Yes, all right, okay. Give me the pants. Pants? Yeah, give me the pants. Right. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 before I get dressed. I don't care, Homer. I, I just don't care.
all guards, calling all guards. Yes, sir. There's two Confederate spies around here. Which way'd they go? Oh, I don't know. Find them. Yes, sir. Say, hold on. You better get yourself a Union suit. They're going to shoot you in that outfit. I'll try. Our nearest reinforcements couldn't possibly reach us for two days. Gentlemen, we're in a precarious position. What are you doing, laying down on the job? Get us some coffee on the double. Yes, sir. Here's a rough map I drew up. This is our present position. If the enemy finds out how weak we are, we haven't a chance. Oh! Clumsy ox, be careful of that coffee. I'll go over there and pour it properly. You idiot. May I suggest that uh, we... Sorry, sir, but that Confederate spy stole my uniform. I traced his footsteps in here. In here? Yes, sir, he's somewhere here. There he is! Oh. Hey, I, I got get you. my uniform. Hey. Yeah, I got him, sir. Uh, give me back that... You... Sorry, sir. You fool. The map! Oh. Get yourself a uniform. Take this map to headquarters. Tell them to send reinforcements immediately. Yes, sir. Skinny man around here about so tall? No, sir. Well, keep a sharp lookout. He's a spy. Yes, sir. Ow! There he is. I've got him. Lock this spy up. I'll be right back as soon as I make a report that we've caught him. Then we'll shoot him. Shoot him? Say, listen, I got an idea. You like ham? Ooh, you bet. Ham. ham, ham, sure. Stack our guns. Follow me. Come on, get right at it. Oh, oh boy, give me that. Come on. Oh, All right, now there's four of us, see? Yeah, okay. You can have the first piece. Well, How about it? Get a big one now. Don't cut any short. Ah, Whoop, one's as good. Hi, <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, boy, this looks good. All right, I don't get it. Don't yeah, worry. We'll all right, that's true. Be brave, Homer. You got nothing to worry about. Look, I took all the lead out of the bullets. Ham! Ham! Oh, boy! Ham! Well, well, well. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Now, how about giving me a piece, fellas? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! 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 Hey, hey, hey!
such men. I'll get a gun and shoot them myself. Prisoner. Oh, oh. What an army! I saw him shot with my own eyes. How did he get here? How did he get here? Maybe he walked. I'll ask him. Will you tell this dumb friend of mine whether you're dead or not? Sure, I'm dead. There you are, see? To shoot my home, eh? Con son of all fix those Yankees. Going to headquarters. Get up. Headquarters. But I got through all right, and that map turned the tide of battle. Why, you concerned thief and Confederate spy, you stole that map from me. All the years I waited. Thanks. 
Penelope, why are you crying? I just can't bear the thought of parting with this dear old car. It's almost like selling a child. Well, but I'm going to buy a new one. We don't need a new car. Why don't we buy a home instead? Well, if we buy a home, how will you get that trip to Detroit? Trip to Detroit? Sure. We save $180 freight charges. At $180, we'll pay our bus fare to Detroit and all our expenses back. Just think, a glorious bus ride to Detroit, a lovely new car to drive home in, all for the same price we get a new car here for. Sale, Mr. Plunkett. How about insurance? Oh, I don't need any. I'm a careful driver. Have it your way. Where's the switch on this? Right on the dash. That's swell. How do you work these new fangs? There, that pays for the window. Thank you, Mr. Plunkett. I'm sorry about that accident, but I'm sure you'll enjoy the car. Well, have a nice trip. Nice trip. We have exactly $18.50 left. If anything else happens, we'll certainly be in a swell fix. Don't you worry, doll. From now on, it'll be nothing but pleasure. be asking too much of you to tell me just what you're doing. I'm trying to get away from the curb. Well, maybe if you just back up and pull away, there'd be nothing to it. No, but that car behind's got me hemmed in. That's funny. I'd have sworn there was a car there. Yeah. Well, if there is, it's sure invisible. Now, come on, get going. Yeah, well, thanks. Say, do I go this way for Highway 112? No, no. You go straight down here two blocks and turn to the left. Then you go three blocks and turn to your right. I first go two blocks and turn to my left. Two blocks and turn to your left. Three blocks and turn to your right. You keep on that road till you hit the first boulevard stop. That's Highway 112. You can't miss it. There's a little red. There's a red building on the corner. Now, how do I get to Chicago? Uh, you turn to your right till you hit Highway 20. Go straight down that road till you come to a concrete bridge. Then you turn to your left, you see? Then you go straight down till you hit Highway 20 and keep going. If you know what I mean. So long. What's the matter with you? I told you there was a car behind me. Well, there wasn't, but there is. You mean there isn't, but there was. I said there wasn't, but there isn't, but there... Well, one of us is crazy, and it can't be you. 
Shut up. Listen, you. That'll just cost you ten bucks, mister. You know, officer, a guy like that shouldn't be allowed to drive. He's a menace to society. Why don't you arrest him, huh? Hey! Hey! Bring back my bumper! Hey, you bring back my bumper! He's got my bumper. What'll my wife say? <laughs> well, now, that's all right. That's all right. Just don't... Where are we? I don't know. There's an auto court up ahead. Let's get some rest before I pass out. Well, it's only three o'clock. I don't care if it's noon. I'm tired. Well, do you think we can afford a dollar and a half to sleep? Listen, if you think I'm going to spend another night in this coupe with my feet hanging out of the window, you're crazy. Yeah, well, if I spend a dollar and a half for a cab, I won't have anything left to buy food with. What, and go to sleep without any supper? Do you realize I haven't eaten since six o'clock this morning? Oh, all right, doll. I'll see what I can find to eat. Maybe there's a loose egg around. There is. Don't you worry, dear. I'll have you a nice dinner here in no time, and then you'll get a good night's sleep. Uh, I better go get some milk, then. Just relax, dear. doing it. Oh, 
Bless you, you, man. You, 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 gotta, you gotta get out, out of here. Hey, you, open up. The cops. Get the dog. Come on out. You're under arrest. That farmer, he's turned us in. This is your last chance. Come out or we shoot. We're going to take your dinner alive. There's only one thing to do. Give myself up and pay my debt to society. This is the sheriff. We've got you surrounded. Are you going to come out or do we break the door down? Oh, Clarence. It's the manly thing to do. dead. Pack everything and we'll escape out that window. We'll save the milk. Surrender? I want those bank bandits. Hey, they stole my car. All right, come on, boss.
Now, look, look, I got it all figured out. See, I'll sell the wreck, and whatever money I get for it, we'll go buy our old car back. Buy our old car back? Why, oh, my. No, no. I'll annoy you. Take your time now. Look, look, listen, listen. Nothing but pleasure. Fully. Boy. Well, send him up here with my mail. I don't care for excuses. I want him up here on time after this. I... Straighten those up. City editor's desk. This is Al Spamoni. If you print that story about me trying to bribe the district attorney, I'll come over and break your neck. Well, you can break my neck if you think you're big enough, but I'm running this newspaper and it'll print what I like. Get me Brian. Poo, poo, poo. Oh. Hello, Ma. Oh, she does? Well, put her on. Hello, Carice, baby. Have you been a nice girl? Well, tell Papa you love him. Papa, I love you. Papa, I love you. And Papa loves you, too. And you, you just be a nice little girl. And when Papa comes home, he'll bring... When Papa comes home, he'll... Look at that desk. I ought to throw you out in your ear. Clean that mess up. Hello. Oh, hello, boss. What? Yeah? Yeah? Ted Chrisman's wife getting a divorce. Well, I'll take care of it right away. Excuse me. Locate Johnson or Smith or any of the other reporters. Quick. They're all out on assignments right now, Mr. Pago. All out on assignments? Well, locate someone. I've got to have a reporter. I'm trying to locate a reporter, boss. Hey, let me do it. You promised me 10 years ago that if you'd give me Shut a... Shut up, you idiot! Uh, no, not you, boss. <laughs> no, no, I was talking to another idiot in here. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir, I'll take care of it right away. What about that reporter? There won't be anyone back for three hours, Mr. Pablo. For three hours? I got to have one right now. Oh, what a newspaper office. Oh. Oh, honest, Mr. Pablo, I'd make a good reporter. I got a natural nose for news. That train leaves in 30 minutes. 
I've got to get this story covered. Well, I suppose I'll have to take a chance on you. Oh, you'll never regret it. And I'll make you proud of me, too. Okay. Listen, Ted Chrisman's wife's going to Reno to get a divorce. It's a big story. I want you to follow her no matter where she goes. Even to Reno? Even to Reno. And cover that story thoroughly. When you go out, give this to the cashier and get expense money. Is it all right if I spend 15 cents for an ice cream soda? Will you get started? Yeah, I'll go. Come here, Miss Fit. You better go down to the files and dig up a picture of Mary Christman so you'll recognize her. If I can't find one, a Mary Christman, will Santa Claus do? No, no. Christman. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Ouch! Will you get out of here? Get going. Look, I'll send you a postal card from all the different cities I visit. Oh. My name is Al Spumoni. I'm busy now. Don't bother me. All right. I'll wait. I've got her picture. Now do I... Oh, oh hello, Ma. Oh, oh, you brought flurries. She ought to have been awful lonesome without her. It, and it's marvelous. I'm now a reporter. Oh, Elmer, I'm so proud of you. Don't you think that you should reconsider this thing? Now, please, I know what I'm doing. What would I do with my ticket? I'm sure I don't know. But look for it. Hurry. I can't be parked here. Goodbye, Ma. Look for it. Oh, I gotta hurry. Got it I thought you... You must have mislaid it. You must have put it in the suitcase. Haven't you got it? Train oh, too. Hurry, will you please? Hurry, dear. Please hurry. Did you find your ticket? Oh, my ticket. My ticket. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. oh my ticket. I found it. Oh, good. Oh, goodbye, Auntie dear. Goodbye, darling. Say, say, we'll have to hurry. Oh, yeah. A 
Hey, stung me. <laughs> Hello, Tony. This is Ted Chrisman. Listen to this note that Mary left me. Dear Ted, I only found out today that you're a racketeer, not a society man as you pretended. I'm on my way to Reno to divorce you. You're a broken-hearted Mary. I'd like to find out the mug that told her. Now listen, Tony, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get me a reservation on a plane. I'm going to catch up with that train and I'm going to talk some sense into her. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get my shoe. Oh, the newlywed. Well, I guess I can forgive you. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And I do mean good night. Remember you? Merry Christmas. And, and a Happy, happy New, New Year! Year. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? Wreck this train? I'm trying to get in my berth. Well, why don't you try getting in without chinning yourself on the bell cord? Give me a hand. Oh, all right. Put you in the baggage car?
idea. I love you. There's no reason you have to bite my foot. Smack you down. Hey, what's all the excitement? Just newlyweds. <laughs> Sounds to me like he's beating her. My wife. My husband. My goodness. I'm sorry, mister, but a man was chasing me, and you're the guy. Hey, come back here, you West Eater. Come here, you coward. You can't do that on this kind of a train. Quick, hide. He's notorious gangster. He'll kill you. Hide, hide, hide. Hey! Up there. Hey, this get out of my way. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. That's all right. Don't report it to the company. Everything's all right. Keep, keep quiet now. Where is that wife dealer? Where is he? Who's up there? Nobody. His pet parrot. Huh? Huh? Pretty ball. Pretty ball. All I want's a cracker. Huh? Huh? Pretty ball. Pretty ball. All I want's a cracker. Creepers, creepers. What a night. It's a great story, my boy. From now on, you're a full-fledged reporter. Do you mean it? Certainly. Oh, won't Ma and Clarice be happy? Gee, I gotta go right home and tell them. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs>
That can't be her. She had on a green coat. She must have gone to that dress shop. Yeah. Well, we'll wait here till she comes out. Can I interest you in some of my latest creations? Well, yes. Oh, here's a novelty. The fan. No, I'm afraid not. No. Here's one of my pets. Jiminy Cricket. Oh, that's kind of cute. Where's your mirror? Well, you know, I just opened. I haven't received them yet. But uh, here's nature's own looking glass. The water. You just look right down. No, since I can't see in that. Here, you try it on. Oh, no. No, that won't do. Here's a novelty. No. Here's the milkman's delight. It's too high. Oh, this is it. No, never. Well, I must have something here to look good on you. Oh, that's kind of cute. How much is it? What? This. That? Yes. Well, I'll have to look that up. And, uh, would you please deliver it to Miss Wilson, the folded down his apartment? I can't see. Raise it up, will you please, so I can see better? Troubles of my own. <laughs> what a fool. Hey, who are you? I came to deliver this hat. Pleased to meet you. Feels so funny. <laughs>
you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Now, you all right? Sure I am. Tall, dark, and handsome. <gasps> You're plastered. You're paralyzed. Paralyzed? Paralyzed. My hat. Whose hat? Oh, look at my little hat. <gasps> A run. Oh, you're the maypole, and I'm the queen of the May. your hat. Where's Hortense? She's out, I hope. Come, Polly. I must feed you. Poor little Polly. Come to me. Nice, Polly. You're going to deliver this diamond ring for Mama, so you great big fat butts don't get wise. Now, I'll get this rubber band around your wing, and everything will be hunky-dory. have that sap take you over to Uncle Moe's hawk shop. If you deliver this parrot to a friend of mine, I'll buy another hat from you tomorrow. It's a deal. I'll give you the address. Twee! Twee! I'm a bird! Catch me! Ah! Oh, jeepers! Creepers! Get him quick. Yeah, go out there and get him quick. Who, me? Yes, you. No, I, I can't stand height. 
I'd fall. Well, so long. My hat. Listen, Halfwit. There's a ten thousand dollar diamond tied under that parrot's wing. Now get out there and get him before I give you lead poisoning. Move. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. Come on, get going. Keep out of this or I'll let you have it. Get over there. Troubles are over. Here's your diamond. We got it! We got the ring. We've cracked the case. We'll be promoted! We'll be promoted! <laughs>
do my bidding. No. Now you will do as I bid you. Ready? Ready? Go! doing here? We were the new caretaker sent from the employment agency, but we're leaving. It's been nice meeting you. Wait a minute. What's the matter with you? Murder. Look, look at that head in the box. And that body on the floor. <laughs> Don't be silly. Those are just tricks. I'm Professor Mordini, the magician and spiritualist. Oh. Come here. Here we have just an ordinary dummy. We were just rehearsing an act, which I'm taking on tour. You sure had us fooled. How do you do that? That's what my last assistant would like to know. He's been snooping around, trying to learn my new tricks. And that's why you're hired as caretakers. Well, he'll never get in here while we're on the job. Good. Now you take your things upstairs. Second room on the left. <laughs> <laughs> they were scared stiff. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you are, I don't blame them. You've got this place so rigged up with tricks, I'm afraid to move around here myself. Say, we've got to get moving. Call Orson and let's go. Orson! Hey, Orson! Orson! Well, Orson, you're getting good on those skates. We'll just leave them on you and let you get good and used to them. Yes, sir. And a good boy, Orson. Come on, George, get this out. Remember all I've been telling you. And above all, no matter what happens, don't leave this house unguarded for a moment while I'm gone. Yes, ma'am. Well, adios. See you in six weeks. I wish we were leaving instead of them. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, don't be silly. What's that? And it's cute, too. Sure scared the life out of me. What's only a musical jug? Sounds like there's more in it than just music. Come on, let's have a drink. You're right. It is bootleg. I feel much better now. Well, stop acting so spooky or you'll give me the Jim Jams. Now, you go on upstairs and go to sleep, and I'll stay down here and guard the place. Here. Look, anybody comes near you, sock them over the head. Now, go on upstairs like a good little soldier. Ah. I'll not have you staring at me all night.
I will be if you're not more careful. Oh. You help me get out of this. Oh, thing. I thought I heard you scream. And I and I got so scared and I can't tell. What's that? Front door. In case of trouble, be ready. Okay. Is your father home? Oh, I beg your pardon. Are, are you all right? Oh, good evening. <laughs> oh, rice. Newlyweds, I bet you. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. You see, we just got married this evening. Our car broke down a short distance from here. Could we call a garage? Stay here overnight. Professor Mordini wouldn't mind, and we'll lend you some things. Professor Mordini? The spiritualist? I'm a spiritualist, too. Something supernatural brought us to this house tonight. I can feel the spirits all about us. Me, too. That's what's the matter with me. Now, listen, sweetheart. Just for tonight, will you forget about spiritualism and go to sleep? Elsie, show him to the guest room while I go get my shoes. Okay, this way. You know, we're new here ourselves. Only been here a couple hours. It's awfully nice of you to let us stay here. You really have a very lovely place. So many lovely... That wasn't there a moment ago. The spirits. Great spirits of the sheet. If you are here, move. The spirits are moving. And so am I. to sleep. The spirit, it moved. Great spirit of the bed, if you are here, move again. Honey, honey, the spirit of the bed, it moved. Now, baby, will you stop? But, honey, it did. I, I know it did. You just come with me. I saw it with my own eyes. Here, I'll show you. Great spirit of the bed, move. Move. Now listen, baby. You know honey loves his babesy wabesy. But if Sweetie Pie doesn't stop this spirit business, honey's gonna break her neck! Double-crosser. I'm gonna stay down here with you. That dame with her spirits gives me the willies. All right, we'll... Ah! 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 Hey, oh, 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 the world's coming to an end. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Control yourself. It's just the lights. We probably blew a fuse. We'll strike a match. I'm afraid of the dark. I can't. You're standing on my hand. There. Candles in here. This one always used to scare the customers. Let's see if it still works. Oh, I got a match here someplace. They got 
me too. I'm scared. Light a match. Let's light that other candle too. Someone sneaking around. I hear footsteps. It sounded like it was in here. No, I think it's from over there. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I just had cold chills and hot flashes. It must be the flu. Oh, you poor dear. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Scared, Buster. Oh. Now what's the matter? Those hot flashes again, only hotter. Oh, this place is haunted. Well, I wish we'd never come here. Can't we leave or something? Oh! 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 Oh, I got oh. to! Oh, oh, still, oh, oh, still. Oh, oh, oh! It was just a oh. candle. Oh! Thank goodness the lights are on. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, that's just that dummy. Here, here, dear. Here. Come over here and sit, sit down and relax. And, uh, oh. You're just hysterical. Well, stop worrying. There's nothing here that will bother us. Oh, I can't stand it much longer. Mm. I could have sworn I heard that thing groan. Oh, don't be silly. That's just a dummy. Dummies don't walk or talk. Scared of ghosts. Bring on those ghosts. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, I beg your pardon. Buster! Oh, oh, my darling. Oh, Buster, he's dead. Oh, speak to me. Say a few syllables. Oh, 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 my poor. spirits in this house. Maybe I can make the spirits bring him back. Oh, spirits again. Oh, spirits, sweet spirits, bring him back. Spirits. Spirits of the north, spirits of the south, spirits everywhere. If you hear me, bring him back. Bring him back. Hey, what happened? Buster, oh, you're well. Honey, he's back. Yeah, so he's back. Come on, we're, we're getting out of here. Let's get our things. Good idea. I'm fed up with the spiritualism business. First thing you know, you'll have people leaving. Now, look, this don't make sense. Spirits brought me back. 
simply because some screwy thing like that says move to something and... Did you see what I did? Uh-huh. You try it. Me? Move! in here like that and it goes be a little more careful. You know I bruise easy. Oh, I'm sorry. But if you'd given me a little more money, I wouldn't have to be making over my old clothes. And you wouldn't have to be doing this. But, Sugar, I haven't... I know. You haven't any money because you have to send that ex-wife of yours $30 a week alimony. She lives off the fat of the land while I'm practically naked. And if I don't pay her, she puts me in jail. Turn around. It's awful, if not worse. <laughs> oh, oh. No, look, look. It, it just... Go away! Ouch! Well, see what bill collector that is. Come in. We're from the Good Samaritan Furniture Company. And we don't want any. Yeah, but we do. You're supposed to pay for things you buy. Come, Junior. This goes too. Oh, they're taking my sewing machine. Can't you pay them a little something to leave it? If I do, I won't have money enough to pay my alimony. And if I don't pay my alimony, I go to jail. Alimony. That's all I hear. Alimony. I got it. If I can get my ex-wife to move in here and live with us, we won't have to pay her any alimony and our troubles will be over. Buster, stop spreading the dirt and sweep it into the dustpan. Your ex-wife will be here any minute. Now hurry. Want to see a dirty house like this? She is your alimony leech. Hello, Shrimp. Is that what 
you was married to. <laughs> meet Red Cliff. He's going to stay here with us, providing we like it here. I'm very glad to meet you. Hiya, shrimp. <laughs> oh, oh, Elsie, I want you to meet the dearest little wife in all the world. Old stuff, Buster, old stuff. You used to hand me that baloney. Baloney, huh? That's good. <laughs> Show the folks around. It'll be a pleasure. bedrooms you got? Just two. That's fine. I'll take one and Radcliffe can have the other. Oh, anything to make you comfy. Hey, shrimp, put that trunk in my bedroom. Ah. Mm. Just as clumsy as ever, ain't you? Come on, lift it up. Get your knee under it. Lift. Lift. Sorry. You're sorry. Put that trunk in my bedroom. Honey, old baggage men carry trunks on their back like this. Come on, I'll help you. No, wait, take it easy now. Uh. Ease it up there, okay? Uh. Now, a little higher. Okay. Oh, are you all right? I think so. Uh. Now, now, balance it. Uh-huh. I got it, I think. Just a little higher. Just a little. Oh. I thought you were the trunk. Do I look like a trunk? <laughs> You're a scream. Yeah, funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Roast duck, no less. They've got their nerve ordering me to cook what they want. I know, but if they don't like it, they might leave. Oh. Here they come now. How's your room? Fine. <laughs> uh, make yourselves right at home, folks. Just one big happy family. That duck is so tough, he can't even cut it. stung me.
Oh, mercenary, eh? Just one big happy family. Darling, I think your idea was wonderful. And so is mine. <laughs> Another day like today and you'll be paying a second alimony to me. Oh, listen, doll. Everything's gonna turn out all right. Yeah. Somebody get me some water. <laughs> People out of here, I'll divorce you myself. You, you, you. Oh, l l listen, doll. I got it all figured out. My divorce decree says that if she remarries, I'm free from alimony. And if we can get her to marry Radcliffe, we're all set. If? I'll go right down and see my lawyer. Oh, I'm going to get some breakfast.
me get into these, will you? I wouldn't if you weren't going to see your lawyer. Everything's going to be all right. Oh. Why don't you stop this clown? Haven't you grown up yet? Keeping me awake all night with fire and trunk and I'm so glad I could wish. Oh! 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 Hit me while my neck is turned, huh? Oh! You slapped me. Yes, and I'll slap you again, you little shrimp. You can't abuse me like that. You second wife of my third husband. Shh, the neighbors. <gasps> oh, so you want to fight, huh? Put up your dukes. Put them up. Put them up. See that? <laughs> oh, are you going to marry Redford and get out of here? No, a thousand times no. Oh. Oh. Will you? No, I'll never do it. No, yes, yes, yes. Do. I now pronounce your man and wife five dollars, please. Thank you. I guess we ain't never going to see you no more. Thanks for your curtain. Thank goodness we're rid of them. I, I kind of hate to see him go. She's a pretty swell kid. What? Why you? Hey, if hey, I ever take it easy. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey. Joint's gonna be the class of the town. Yeah. You think everybody like it? Everybody but Slugger McGraw and his mob. He's got the word around he's gonna knock you off if you open. Hey, you! Watch what you're doing with his legs. That guy's gonna wreck the joint. Never mind, come on.
help me get me out of this thing. Huh? Get me out of this thing. How? Untie that rope. This one? Yes. That slugger McGraw is a tough guy, boss. He runs all the rackets in this town. He did to like it, Tom. Now I'm taking over. Get on until those guys will snap it up. Okay, okay. Hello? Oh, Slugger McGraw. Well, I am Louis the Wolf. Listen, small fry. I'm opening my joint tonight. It's going to stay open. Get it? Oh, no? Who do you think talking about, you mate? I'm not going to hear the same Come on, snap it up, you mugs. We got to open in an hour. Hey, don't walk under this ladder. That's bad luck. Oh, that's all right. I ain't superfluous. Oh. Hey, are you going to get off of me, you mug? Dragon when you did your bubble dance. Really? I used to blow up the balloons. <laughs> Which one of you guys is Louie? Oh. Well, wait a minute. Don't shoot, Louie. We was only kidding, Louie. They think he's you, boss. Yeah, from now on, he's going to be me. I get it. <laughs> How does it feel to be a big shot, kid? There's the first place. Now remember, you or me. I'm collecting for a protection service. Protection service. Okay, Joe, step on. No, but I'm liable to get hooked. Oh, what are you worried about? We'll take care of Louie. All right. Here I am. Take care of me. Louie. Right. And I'm here to collect. Now, to take it easy, Louie, and we'll get you the dough. Yeah, it's over at our place. You don't mind going for a little ride, do you? No. Hope I ain't putting you out. No, no. You wait right here, and we'll go get the car. Hey, hey have a drink, Louie. It's 16 years old. Huh, a minor. Gee, that would have knocked me right off my feet. I can take it. Get set to go now. As soon as he comes out, I'll let him have it. Here he comes now. Hey, Louie! Here it is! I got him! Come on, step on it. Let's go. Hey, wait for me. I'll tell you.
tell Slugger the wolf has howled his last howl. <laughs> A big idea, huh, Carlos? Hey, what are you trying to do? Get rid of me? Yeah, we don't we? No, 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 certainly not. Come on, we'll get in the car and we'll go get the dough. Come on, get in there. Keep a lookout behind, Louie. I think a cop is following us. Call your bumps. <gasps> Look at that dumbbell. Some people think that a car can drive itself. It can take off in a... I nearly had an accident. Yeah, yeah. That's him. Come right in, Louie. Make yourself at home. Yeah. I'm going to get the dough. Here, Louie. Have a little drink. It's eight years old. You sure it's only eight? Yeah. Says so right on the bottle. This will put him out like a golfer. Oh, boy, that'll get him. <laughs> Come on, little concert. Can I come in? Do you see him anywhere? No, I guess he ain't landed yet. Hey, fellas. <laughs> you know where I went? I'm going! Take it down to the... Hello? What? Oh, 
just stole our car. Hey, come here. to go through that again? but uh, could you change a tire for me? You want us to change a tire for you? Are you a man or a mouse? Even a mouse would be ashamed of you. Do you believe in love at first sight? Why you got your nerve, mister? Lamar. Peter Headley Lamar, Jr. Oh, gee. I saw your pictures in the paper. You're that millionaire. <clears throat> hmm. I might have known it. Well, I assure you I had nothing to do with it. Oh, don't feel too badly about it. We'll be glad to help you change your tire. Not me. I'm not going to help you. 
I'm going back to camp. Back to camp? Are you girls camping out? No, we're nurses at Camp Cluster Army Hospital. Oh, why didn't she like me? Oh, Dorothy only likes soldiers. You've got to wear a uniform to make a hit with her. You do? Yeah, but don't worry. I like you, even if you have got millions. Cutie! Where's the jack? Jack? Oh, not money. The jack that fixed the car. Wait, Sue, so, uh, oh, I don't know. It's... Back here. She likes uniforms. Where's the nearest recruiting office? About five minutes' ride from here. <laughs> Pardon me, senor. We are looking for Camp Cluster. You know which way it is, no? I know which way it is, yes. I'm going there myself. I'll show you the way if you'll give me a lift. Lift? Hey! 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 Oh, Senor! Oh, Senor! Oh, we no, give me the lift! Yes, yes Senor! Oh, we are good, Daddy! For done, for done, Senor! For done! For done! Here's your questionnaire. Oh, thank you. We're very glad to have you in the Army, Mr. Lamar. Oh, I only joined because Dorothy likes uniforms. And besides, I understand you need more generals. Generals? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, we'll take very good care of you, General. Will you step right this way? I only expect to be in the Army, you know, a few days until Dorothy likes me. Oh. Now, take your clothes off. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Take them off. How dare you? I don't even know your name. My name is Michael Collins, and take them off. so contrary. Come here. Come here. What is that thing? A chest protector or something? Can't you? The fella can't ever get up. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're the one to get undressed, not me. There's no dignity in the place at all. Not the... Oh, oh no. Oh. Get this. Get this coat on. I do, I... Get 
I get out of this. Turn him around. I'll tell my congressman. That's all right. Jim will listen. All right. I'm glad to see you. Hello. How about a little dinner and a show? No, thank you. I'm on duty at the hospital. Can I come and visit you? Certainly not. Only patients are allowed. If I was a patient, would you nurse me? If you were a patient. If I was a patient.
I'll take you to the hospital. Oh, just relax. Good job. I don't know whether your leg is broken or not, but when the doctor arrives, he'll say he couldn't do any better than I did. My goodness. You certainly got yourself all banged up, didn't you? Oh, it was worth it to get in here where you could take care of me. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have to take care of our head butcher. He's had a nervous breakdown. He imagines every one is a side of beef and tries to make steaks out of them. Oh, a cut up. Oh. Well, good luck. Are you going? I'm sorry, I must. Don't you worry. I'll take care of you like you've never been taken care of before. Yoo-hoo! Oh. I think you need more weight. Let me see. What could I use? Oh, that picture. Don't go away. Now, if I could... Make a loop in here and attach that picture. Oh, yeah. She. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Hey! Hey, st hey, hey, stop playing games now and get me out of this. Hey, wait, hey, somebody come and get. Sleeping like a little baby. Oh, no, he won't get out. I'll watch him. Oh. Yes.
Oh. You saved our lives. I think you're wonderful. You do? calling. Say I'm out. He only loves my oil wells, not me. Yes, madam. But he kisses so divinely. Good morning, monsieur. My hand is waiting for you, as usual. Ah, if only you had the oil wells. <sighs> oh, ma chérie! Come to my arms. My little Oklahoma cactus plant. No, no, I must never see you again. Go! 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 Ah! Oh. 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 Come back! Come back! My little fromage debris, you are mine! Oil oh, mine! Come back! I think one of those joints is loose. Good morning, friends. The Sharp Shark Loan Company will lend you money without collateral, without a bonus, without interest. All they want is your blood. Come to the Sharp Shark Loan Company's office where you will be taken care of. Our next meeting. Take it easy. My finger's in there, you know. Oh, well, wait a minute. There you are. You got a left-hand thread on that. Come on, let's finish the boiler. You have either. My little body de foie gras. My little gooseneck. Oh, gooseneck. Say so in the first place. Ah. I'll be back. Howdy, what? Gusun type. Hey, I didn't know you spoke Spanish. Oh, fluidly. Orson Welles is broadcasting again. Yeah. I'll dig. Hey, where's the radio? Well, Oh, oh! Yeah, somebody do something. Hey, hey, that crazy foreigner must have thrown the radio in the boiler. Well, come on, let's get it out. I never heard of a radio controlled boiler. Use a hammer. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. Get a torch! Wow! Yes! What are you trying to do? Get the acetylene torch! Come on, come on! Get a sledgehammer! They are a 
think it's all right. Give it away. Ah! Boy, we must have blown out a tube. Yeah, I guess as soon as we get this radio out of here, you know we got to seal it back up. Yeah, I know. You just keep on with the job. We'll get it done. Hey, wait a minute. It ain't five o'clock yet. Put those things down. Wait till I get this radio out of here. It's a murder. And the habeas corpus is in there. Yeah. Hey, we gotta get that thing open. Get a sledge. Come on. Come on, hurry. Upside down. What are we going to do? Uh, ah! It's alive! Wait, wait! I want to thank you boys for saving my life. We did. Were you trying to get away from that foreigner? You mean Clemente? Yes. He wants to marry me, but I know he's only after my millions. Why did you give him the air? You don't understand. When he kisses me, I get goose pimples all over me. And then I'm a dead duck. Oh, go on. A kiss never killed a duck. Well, you don't believe me, huh? I'll show you. Well, for guy's sake. See? Works every time. I'll show you again. Hey, I got a proposition for you. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't understand. My shower needs repairing. I want you to fix it. Here's my card. <clears throat> I'll be seeing you. Hey, we're gonna tap that oil well. Yeah, well, don't forget to forget your tools. Oh, whoa. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. What seems to be the trouble? It's the shower. Fix it. Oh, we'll have that fixed in less than a week. Gee, thanks. Hey, you go down and turn off the water, and when I hit on here like that, why then turn it back on. Finish this before he bothered me. Oh, my little apple blinces. Why do you always fritter and flutter away from me? You have someone else. A new sweetheart, huh? <laughs> Don't be foolish. Two! Two! That was a man's sneeze. You are riding him, eh? Come on, I'll try shoot through the door. Most of the time, I just work with drain pipes. 
Ah, uh, you was the blanket face again, huh? What? <laughs> Okay, monsieur, we will fight. That suits me. Oh, 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 oh. Not that way, you fool. We will fight a duel, like gentlemen, on the field of honor, like heart. It's all right with me. Don't let them bluff you. My hero, to think you'd let them kill you for me. Ah. Shady point, that sunburst. Au revoir. Do to do. Skip a gutter. Break a leg. Hey, how do you fight a duel? But dueling, it is very easy. First, of course, you must be dressed properly. You wear a morning coat and a beautiful sash. Wait. Attends, I will show you. Madame, please. Monsieur. Come, ça. You see? Oh, well, what do you know? Huh. Well, that, 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 that's Why, easy. it's nothing but the sash. Give it to us. There you are. Come you on. try, monsieur. Come Give yourself a spin. Kilo. Allez. <laughs> hey, what happened? Oh, oh, oh. Then, monsieur, you take this out. Like this. En garde. Hey, look out. Allez, monsieur. Hey, monsieur. Look out. Gentlemen, I am Pierre Lapouche, and this is Dr. Renault. I am Monty Piper, and this is Mr. Waters, the gentleman who is to be shot. Hurt yourself before you get shot. Monsieur Clemente wishes to know your choice of weapons. Monsieur wishes the sword. It matters not. Swords or pistols. I will kill him with anything. Hey, hey, look. Compromise with him. Let him use a sword, and I'll use a pistol. Well, what's wrong with that? The sword's longer than the pistol. Besides, Mr. Waters might miss and shoot himself. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Now look what you did. Business is picking up. Yeah. Ah. Gentlemen, your weapons. I have made the choice. Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah. Gentlemen, I will say part, and you will walk ten paces, and then turn and fire. Come. So, back. Ready? Hot! Stop! Ah! Oh, oh, why didn't oh, you oh, shoot him? You lost the best chance you've ever had. That is not the way to go. 
go that way and do not forget. Here. Yeah. So. Back. Ready? What? Kiro, oh. take it. Back. Ah, ready? But. Ah, ah, wait! Oh, wait. monsieur. Wait. I am sorry. I make mistakes. You are the wrong man. <laughs> ah, please. Uh, now, now. Ready? <laughs> but. So. No, 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 no,